All right, this is page 44, practice A, in the same physics book, Regents Physics. Uh, we're going to do average velocity and displacement problems. First problem, Heather and Matthew walked with an average velocity of 0.98 meters per second eastward. If it takes them 34 minutes to walk to the store, what is their displacement? So your average velocity, let's just say V, is equal to... Uh, displacement which is x over t right v is equal to x over t so their velocity was 0.98 time is measured in seconds so you what you want to do is uh, convert 34 minutes into seconds so it's x over 34 times 60 because there's 60 seconds for every minute and you solve for t i mean solve for x x would be your uh your displacement. So 0.98 times 34 times 60 and your x would be 199.2 meters. That's your displacement. That's the answer. If Joe rides his bicycle in a straight line for 15 minutes with an average velocity of 12.5 uh, kilometers per hour south, how far has he ridden? So basically here, they're asking for displacement again. Um, here, your average velocity is measured in kilometers per hour. So 12.5 is equal to x over 15 minutes, right? But since here they measured their time in hours, you want to change 15 minutes into hours. So what you want to do is 60 sorry 15 divided by 60 which would give uh, which would give you 0.25 and now you just solve for uh, your X which is your displacement so what you want to do is 12.5 times uh, 15 divided by 60 and their displacement would be 3.125 kilometers. Okay, let me write that out. 12.5 times 15 divided by 60 is equal to x. And here, 0.98 times 34 times 60 is equal to x. Next problem. It takes you 9.5 minutes to walk an average velocity of 1.2 meters per second to the north. Sorry, from the bus stop to the museum entrance. What is your displacement? Right? So your average velocity is 1.2. V equals x divided by t. Average velocity is 1.2 meters per second. You're looking for displacement, so let's just call it x. And your time was 9.5 minutes here velocity was measured meters per second so you want to change uh, your minutes into seconds so there is 60 seconds for every minute 9.5 times 60 rearrange the equation to solve for x x is equal to 1.2 times 9.5 times 60 and your displacement would be one uh, 684 meters. Simpson drives his car with an average velocity of 48 kilometers per hour to the east. How long will it take him to drive 144 uh, kilometers on a straight highway? Right? So here they give you your average velocity and your displacement. Now they're asking for time. So V is equal to X over T. Right? You have your V. Your V is 48 km, 48 uh, kilometers per H. Since I'm using Microsoft Word, I'm not going to um, deal with the units right now. But in the end, I'll tell you what units your answer should be in. Uh, 48 kilometers per hour is equal to 144 uh, kilometers for a certain amount of time. Right? We're looking we're trying to solve for that time. 
So if you rearrange your equation, 48t is equal to 144. Solve for t, 144 divided by 48 is equal to t. So 144 divided by 48. And your t should come out to be 3 hours. So this is also supposed to be lowercase. So t is 3h, which is 3 hours. Look back at item 4. Look back at question 4. Okay. How much time would Simpson save by increasing his average velocity to 56 kh? Uh, sorry, km per h to the east. Right. So instead of 48 kilometers per hour, uh, the question is basically at asking what happens if his uh, average speed was 56 kilometers per hour. So you do the same thing. V is equal to x divided by t. Your average velocity would be 56 is equal to 144 over t. Rearrange it. Uh, 56 t is equal to 144. Solve for t. t is equal to 144 divided by 56. Your time for this problem would give you 2.57 and a bunch of decimals. So let's leave it at 2.57 hours. But we're not done yet. It says how much time would Simpson save by increasing his average velocity, right? So you want to know the time difference. You want to know how much he saved. So what you want to do is take your answer from question three. I mean question four, which is three hours, and you subtract it by the time you get here, which is 2.57h and you find the difference you get 0.43 so he saves 0.43 hours question six a bus travels 280 kilometers south along a straight path with an average velocity of 88 kilometers per hour to the south the bus stops for 24 minutes and then travels 210 kilometers with an average velocity of 75 uh, km to the south. How long does the total trip last? So here they're basically asking for time. Uh, so yeah, in the first scenario, the bus travels 280 kilometers south along a straight path with an average velocity of 88 km and per h. So your average velocity is 88 is equal to your distance which was 280 divided by t. We don't know what was time, right? So you solve for t. So 88t is equal to 280. t is equal to 3.18 hours, right? As for the first scenario. And then the next scenario, it says the bus stops for 24 minutes. Since we're dealing with time in hours, let's change 24 minutes into hours. So 24 divided by 60. That gives us 0.4 hours, right? The next scenario says it travels 210 kilometers south with an average velocity of 75 kilometers per hour, right? So here our our average velocity was 75 is equal to, uh, it traveled 210, so our distance was 210 divided by t. We solve for t. 75t is equal to 210. t is equal to 210 divided by 75. t is equal to 2.8 hours right now here the question was how long does the total trip last so your first time was 3.8 uh, second time it stops for 24 minutes so plus 0.4 and then your last time as it traveled was 2.8 so your total time is equal to 3.18 plus 0.4 plus 
2.8, which gives you 6.38 hours. The total trip lasts for 6.38 hours. And then it says, what is the average velocity for the total trip? So what is average velocity? Average velocity would be uh, V is equal to total displacement divided by total time. So V is equal to our total displacement. So in the problem, he travels 280 kilometers, and then he travels 210 kilometers, right? So our total displacement was 280 plus 210. Our, our total time from above we got was 6.38 hours. So our average velocity for the total trip would be 280 plus 210 divided by 6.38. Our average velocity for the whole trip would be 76.8.